Hi, you guys like my shirt? It's my mom's hockey team. Uh, she plays hockey because she's a badass. I don't know how to start videos. So I was looking for another thing to talk about on this channel and I couldn't because I suck. And I just wanted to find something weird enough to talk about because I talked about horse people in the last video and I don't know where to go from there. I kind of started at the top. And I brought this up to my girlfriend who suggested I react to a show called As the Bell Rings which I was absolutely unfamiliar with. And apparently it's a show between shows because Disney Channel doesn't show commercials. They just advertise other things that Disney is doing. Sometimes they don't even do that. They just show other shows. So this is a show between shows. Did I explain that correctly at all? And it's called As the Bell Rings because it's a bunch of kids between classes and they're all talking in the hallway. And it's kind of like an analogy because it's like between shows that you actually want to watch. And it's Fucking horrendous. Growing up, I wanted nothing to do with live action shows on children's television. Drake and Josh, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life and Zack and Cody. I don't want anything to do with it, besides the fact that the mom from Sweet Life and Zack Cody follows me on TikTok. How you doing? I Nothing against you, you're terrific. But I have the same moral standings today as I did back then, being, if it's not a cartoon, I don't want to fucking watch it. Why would I watch Wizards of Waverly Place when I can watch Chowder? A show that ch defined a generation of people. Sorry, went on a tangent there. Let's go back to the show. There's only two seasons of it. I'm really gonna only focus on the first season because my girlfriend told me it's the craziest one. And it has a bunch of no-name child actors on it, but it does have Demi Lovato before I think she was recognized for being talented in any sense. So. We can, we have a good jumping on point. Once again, I will be listening to everything through my Gamer Boy headset because I have no other way of listening to things from my computer. Suck it up. I'm gonna look like a dork and you're just gonna have to plow through that. It's the bell ring. One, three, two. There she is, there's my girl. Oh yeah, the quintessential early 2000s hot boy. You got the Bieber haircut, you got the long sleeve shirt under short sleeve shirt. What a look, the puka shell necklace. I might fuck this guy. Oh my god, I love the cartwheel. I love that she did a cartwheel for no explainable reason. And then she just looks at the camera like, huh, that's me, the cartwheel gal. And the last guy's name is Toe Jam, which is an unfortunate role, but you, you know, you gotta take what you can get when you're a child actor, I suppose. Fantastic theme song, though. Way overproduced for this dumb little show. You know, guys... <laughs> you know how you greet your buddies when you, when you go to hang out silently, just tossing up a little dap? That's fucking brilliant. Did they explain that? I think I'm gonna buy Cheryl a little flower. What a beautiful thought. Nope, they just, they blow right through that, perfect. So the basic premise of this episode is the hot guy wants to buy a rose for a girl and the other two are dissuading him from doing that for some reason. I think it's a sweet thing, but we'll continue on. But if she does buy me a flower and I don't give one for her, then she's gonna feel bad. But if she does buy me a flower and I don't give one for her, then she's gonna feel bad. <laughs> Many cartwheels. She must have been in the audition process like I can do a cartwheel and they're like we're gonna fit that into every second we can. Transitions, opening. If she doesn't do a cartwheel in live action during this episode, I'm gonna pitch a fit. Hey Charlotte, are you getting Danny a flower? I'm thinking about it. You know, I don't get flower day. Alright, so it's already like crystal clear what the character tropes are. So we got the nerdy girl who's really smart and is gonna be a feminist and is gonna stick up for the nerds and that's what it's gonna be. We got the pretty popular girl who's gonna be an asshole the whole episode. It's the day when popular kids get flowers. Thank you. <laughs> then you have Demi Lovato, who I'm assuming is just gonna be the grounded person that we're all gonna relate to. Who I'm gonna relate to. This is just a distraction that reinforces negative status levels among students. She does make a really good point. This is like prime time for bullying and making people just feel bad. This is a bad school. Why are they doing this? So at this point, the funny guy from earlier, who I actually think was pretty funny, he's, he's a silly kid. He shows up as a custodian and tries to convince Demi Lovato to buy a flower for his boy, which is pimp, great wingman status. And to sell this, he puts on a jumpsuit and a mullet and a mustache. And he just asks her if she wants roses, but it gets like weird. I'd love to get a flower from a pretty girl. Oh yeah, thank you for giving some lucky fella a flower. She's like clearly uncomfortable. Like, he gets way too close to her. But, you know, we know that it's okay. But she doesn't. It's just weird. Hey guys. Cartwheel! She did the cartwheel again! Fuck yeah! How many cartwheels did this poor girl have to do throughout the entire filming of this dumb fucking show? Is she getting him a flower? It depends. Is Danny getting her a flower? It depends. This show is full of classic Disney tropes, which is putting laugh tracks behind things that, like, aren't funny. And I know I'm a grown adult, and this is for kids, but... Comedy is pretty universal, and for a kid, I don't get why some of these things are supposed to be funny. I'll go get them off! And the acting, I don't want to talk shit about child actors, but th it's pretty bad, and it's kind of taken me out of it. Except for the funny kid, I like him. I hope he's doing okay nowadays. So after all this, they come up with a plan where the girls are gonna tell the girl that she's gonna get a flower from the boy, and the boy's gonna tell the boy that he's gonna get a flower from the girl. Which seems so convoluted. <laughs> 
Thanks, guys. No, there was no cartwheel on that transition. That's a bummer. Thanks, guys. I owe you big time. This will be the best flower day ever. I don't know why he's <laughs> doing a lot of this. It's like he went to acting school and they said, it doesn't matter if your delivery is as flat as a two-day-old Pepsi Cola. Just do this a lot. Give him some of these. They'll be distracted. They won't know what's going on. Sold out? Oh, no, no more flowers. Now what am I going to do? Do you think Charlotte's already gotten me a flower? I love the extra, by the way, who's just like, you should have fucking done this earlier, dipshit. I'm gonna walk off stays left. Come on, I got another plan. <laughs> I genuinely think he's funny. This one ought to be good. <laughs> I don't think he's funny though. He bumps me out. Toe Jam, he should have been in more of a dramatic role, I think. So Demi also finds out there's no more roses. So in the next scene, they confront each other about the fact that neither of them bought each other roses. And the guy takes some very strange acting choices. I didn't buy you a flower. You didn't? That, that's great. I, I mean... Why is he standing like that? I, I mean... I do have a backup flower. Thanks, it's really pretty. Well, I don't get... I don't, they were out of flowers. Is that a fake flower? Wait, why does she, how does she have another flower? Also, later in the episode, it's confirmed that Skipper and the janitor are actually two different people. So that makes this that, that joke not as funny anymore. That's not good, that's creepy. So that's episode one, and I was gonna stop it there, but I got, I'm pretty in deep on this at this point. So the second episode is based around a talent show, because why wouldn't it? It's a Disney Channel show about high school. Every one of those has a talent show episode. And I'm not positive, because I haven't finished this episode yet, but I, I'm relatively certain wacky hijinks ensue. Hey guys, who's signing up for the talent show? I am, me too. Nah. Oh, come on, we do it every year. No, no, I'll just be happy to watch my talented friends. Give him some more of these. What is that shirt, dude? Come on, I know it's early 2000s, but no way, I can't, I can't imagine that was cool in 2000s, dude. I was alive during that time. I didn't see one person wearing a shirt with a, a chicken on it. What is going on? Hey, can you guys help me decide on my talent? Sure, Tiff, what are you thinking about doing? If you need someone else to help you brainstorm up a talent, you you probably don't have a talent, especially not one worth doing on a stage in front of all of your peers. Hand modeling. <laughs> or reciting the alphabet backwards. Z, Y. Well, I'm still practicing that one. It's funny because she's stupid, because she's pretty and stupid. That's comedy. I'm gonna sing. And I'm gonna dance. <laughs> Who is that? Who was that? That's not a character. I don't know. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Cartwheel girl, she's back. Next part goes. Sentences of yours running through my head, searching for a chance to catch my breath. That's really good. That's really good. Hey guys, check this out. I don't know why they're friends with this kid, because he just seems like an obnoxious asshole. That's his whole character. So I guess everyone everyone has one of those in their group. But you know, let's 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 kill him off. Episode three, maybe? Okay, so back to the lyrics. I also like the personality uh, trait of this young man, which is wrist cuffs, leather wrist cuffs. Th that was never cool. I think he has a sheriff badge on one of them. What is going on? Pick a card. Any card. No, don't let me see it. Is it the Seven of Diamonds? Nope. Man. I, d I think he's funny. I think he's a good character. Okay, day or night, dark or light. Hey, how about you'll be taking over that thing called my shadow? That's really good. <laughs> she said the line. Isn't that a meme? She's really good. Yeah, that's the meme. That's crazy. From tiny acorns to strong oaks grow. That is beautiful. But is it this good? Ah, you ruined it, Disney. You ruined the moment. Sentences of yours running through my head, searching for a chance to catch my breath. A never-ending dream. You'll become a part of me. Now that's magic. <laughs> yeah. It's so cringe. I don't know if I've been explaining enough, but she's writing a song. She's gonna, off the top like that, you're writing fucking Death Cab for a Cutie lyrics? No, you're not. And that was bad. Bad. Not magic. Magic? I should have seen that coming. That was an invitation for this kid to show back up. I guess I maybe am not smarter than this show. Check this out. I gave up on the clarinet. I just wasn't feeling it. Get him out of here. Get Toji him out of here. I hate him. So after that dipshit leaves, there's a scene where Demi Lovato actually sings her song. And it's like genuinely kind of good. I don't like when singers do that though. I'm sure it's important. I don't know how to sing. No, hey, whoa, hey, this was Demi's moment. Why are you singing? I hate this guy. What do you mean? I was here for Demi. Uh -oh. You know that classic moment in high school where you just start doing a duet in the middle of the hallway and 
every student comes around you and starts applauding you. You know that classic American movie? If you're not an American, this is what happens in America. Constantly and consistently. Oh, you're amazing. No, Demi's amazing. Okay, he just stole her spotlight. He wasn't even that good of a singer. But are you this? No, I got nothing. Well, she stopped doing her dumb bit before I can make fun of it, so at least that's good. But I have been days to win, and the clouds appear in <laughs> She just comes back? <laughs> so the episode ends after that, and there's no, they don't, they don't do a talent show. I guess because they didn't want to build a set for an auditorium, but they didn't, they didn't, <laughs> there was no talent show. So that's all the time I have time for. I didn't say that right. There's 15 episodes of the show, and I'm not going to cover them all in one episode. If you guys want me to talk about it more, I will, but I don't. You know, I'm one man. That being said, I will watch more of this because it's as entertaining as good TV, which is saying something. So go ahead and like and comment and <laughs> subscribe to this video if you're interested in more of this. Thanks for the support on my last video. I'm so burpy. I'm gonna close the video with my cat again and it's gonna be a jump cut. So one, two, three. I realized I can't clap with the cat in my hand, but here we are. Go ahead, go up my shoulder. Thanks for watching.